Why buy real estate using an agent? Privacy, confidentiality and fiduciary duty. Your real estate agent has your back whether you're a buyer or a seller. Agents have what's known as a fiduciary responsibility to their clients. They legally obligated to put their client's best interests first. This duty imparts a very high standard for confidentiality. As a buyer, do you really, really want to turn over your most intimate financial details to a FSBO seller who's under no legal obligation to keep the information confidential? The same goes for turning any and all information over to the seller's agent, who has no fiduciary responsibility to you but only to the seller. Your own agent would know whether any information the other agent is requesting from you is reasonable. You do have recourse if you're the buyer and the seller's agent has lied to you, misled you, or disclosed confidential information. You can report it to the agent's professional association, such as the National Association of Realtors. But again, this assumes that the seller has an agent. You'll have far fewer options if the property is FSBO. Attention to detail. You might be far out of your element when it comes to reviewing and understanding the multiple documents involved in a real estate deal, and you should have a thorough understanding of what you're getting into regardless of whether you're buying or selling. Purchase agreements alone can top 10 pages in 2019, not to mention federal, state, and local document requirements. Luckily, your agent will be far more familiar with all this paperwork than you are. Consider this if you're still thinking about saving money. Some mistakes or omissions in these documents can cost you as much as that commission you're trying to avoid paying, or even far more. Here's an example, maybe a buyer makes an offer on a home, but it's contingent on getting a mortgage. There's no possibility that the buyer could purchase the property without first securing financing, but there's no such contingency or escape hatch built into the purchase agreement to let the buyer out of the deal if financing fails. The buyer is obligated to go through with the sale or be sued if it turns out that a mortgage isn't happening. Consider hiring a broker for a smaller one-time fee to simply review your contracts before signing if you're still dead set against hiring an agent to take care of all this. Agents know what to look for. Buyers usually have a pretty firm idea in mind of what they want in a property, from number of bedrooms to an attached garage to any number of other must-have and must-not-have factors. You'll probably feel pretty comfortable looking at homes with that list tucked firmly in the back of your mind, but your agent will be alert for issues that might not cross your mind such as furnace issues, leaks, roofing problems, and mold and insect issues. An agent will recognize the telltale signs of these problems and know how best to approach them. Again, this experience and knowledge can end up saving you thousands down the road. You know exactly how much you want for your home if you're the seller, but is the price you've arrived at reasonable? You might only know for sure if you're able to identify comparable sales that confirm that you're in the right range, or not. Agents can do comparative market analyzes in their sleep. An agent can hand over researched, current, and reputable data regarding a neighborhood's demographics, crime rates, schools, and other important factors. That's a lot of time-consuming research to do on your own, particularly if you don't know where to start. Agents know what to look for. Buyers usually have a pretty firm idea in mind of what they want in a property, from number of bedrooms to an attached garage to any number of other must-have and must-not-have factors. You'll probably feel pretty comfortable looking at homes with that list tucked firmly in the back of your mind. But your agent will be alert for issues that might not cross your mind, such as furnace issues, leaks, roofing problems, and mold and insect issues. An agent will recognize the telltale signs of these problems and know how best to approach them. Again, this experience and knowledge can end up saving you thousands down the road. You know exactly how much you want for your home if you're the seller, but is the price you've arrived at reasonable? You might only know for sure if you're able to identify comparable sales that confirm that you're in the right range, or not. Agents can do comparative market analyzes in their sleep. An agent can hand over researched, current, and reputable data regarding a neighborhood's demographics, crime rates, schools, and other important factors. That's a lot of time-consuming research to do on your own, particularly if you don't know where to start. Requesting repairs. Often. The touchiest part of a real estate purchase involves the delicate dance of requesting repairs. A real estate agent will be able to identify trouble that you may not see, as well as recommend a good independent home inspector who will provide a detailed report on problems with the house. These reports can be dozens of pages long. Within all those pages, some problems are important and others aren't. If the house is in reasonably good condition, requests for repairs can make or break a deal. The agent will have a good sense of what's reasonable to request and what's excessive. Tackling the paperwork. 
If you've ever bought a house, you've probably dedicated a full shelf somewhere to the documents that were involved in the transaction. These probably include the written offer, the written and signed counteroffer, the little details, like specific repairs, and what exactly was and was not included in the sale. The paperwork can be tiresome. This is when a good real estate agent can save the day. Often, these offers and counteroffers are limited by a time frame. The agents are armed with fax machines that, in good economies, never stop churning out paper. Unemotional negotiation. As level-headed as you think you are, when you're fighting with a seller over adding a hose to the dishwasher because the water drains on the floor, it's easy to lose your cool. Having an agent to write the requests subjectively and forward them to the seller saves you the trouble of getting overly emotional about the deal. Say the seller won't budge on the dishwasher hose and you want to adjust your offer. The agent can handle that part calmly, too. Experts advise that you let the agent take the heat in difficult negotiations. Pricing expertise Most real estate agents can set a price on a home the minute they walk through the door. If they have a lot of experience in a market, they know how well a neighborhood holds its value, too. While anyone can spend a few minutes online and pull information on sales of comparable houses, real estate agents have the experience to know whether a specific house is overpriced or underpriced. In the best case scenario, an agent will have such a good idea of what you're looking for that she won't even waste your time touring houses that won't work. Don't know where to start. If you're having other questions about what to buy, how to buy, how to get your house insured, if a house has a good price base on market value, then call us now at 1-612-4. 418-2940